Hey Grade 11s, so the last activity for this week was task 9.9 .9, and we're coming to the end of the general ledgers of uh, manufacturing businesses so hopefully you're getting the hang of it um, we're just going to revise and keep practicing um, in the next week probably uh, but task 9.9 .9 was a different sort of task in that they gave you the general ledgers and they just had a whole bunch of question marks okay so it relies a lot about, uh, about looking at another ledger account to find a, a missing figure Contra accounts are also very important because it's, it points to where else a figure might be. So we're going to go through this task. It's, it's a bit of a tricky task to just dive into. So we're just going to do our best to, to fill in the question marks as we go. Okay, so all my answers are in already and they are highlighted in yellow. Yellows are the ones that were missing. So I'm just going to go re-highlight them in green to show that we've covered them and, and gone over them. Okay, so it says that Fairbreeze manufacturers, we're on page 398, produces lawnmowers that they sell to various retailers at a markup of 50%. Their financial year ends at the end of June every year. Study the following information, um, incomplete information found in the ledger and the additional information. Thereafter, fill in the missing details and amounts. So let's just have a look. Raw material stock is given. Uh, there's some missing figures over there. But if you look carefully here already, I've already spotted something. This amount here, this 495, how come I can work this out as 495? Because you were given the bottom total of 555,000 and that's 60. So 555 minus 60 is 495. Great. That means that raw material issued was 495. And where does that 495 of raw material stock eventually get to? It gets to the factory. So it goes to work in progress stock account. So there's 495 and you'll see it appear here, direct material cost 495, there it is. Okay, so we're already uh, winning almost here. If that 555 was on the credit side, then there is also triple 5,000. Okay, so the only missing figure on the debit side of raw material is the opening balance, which must have been 120,000 because I've just worked backwards to find the balancing figure. On the credit side, we had balance carry down of 60. So then it must be balance brought down of 60 at the start of the next year. Okay, so raw material stock is actually done. We just finished and, and, and filled in the missing figures by looking at balancing figures and totals. Okay, looking at work in progress, there was some stuff missing. This 531 general journal and this contra account was missing. Factory overhead cost. Uh, happy. These one, two, three, four lines are always the same four lines on the debit side of work in progress. Okay. Also, we could work this 150 out because we knew the total of one, two, three, six thousand was given to us. We've worked out 495, so this direct labor cost must be 150,000. Okay. And that 150,000 there, direct labor cost also has come from direct. Labor cost, there it is. We had salaries and wages on the debit side of 150. Work in progress um, was missing, that word was missing, and 150,000. Okay, also just above us, yeah, direct material cost. Remember, we issued 495,000. So there's 495,000 that was missing, the debit side of direct material cost, and the contra raw material issued. Remember, you hardly ever given or given the raw material issued ledger account, but that's where the 495 has come from. Okay, so we've done those two ledger accounts and their missing figures. If I go back up again to my work in progress, because both missing figures were missing on the credit side, right, we're going to have to dig a bit deeper. We can, however, find that total, which was a question mark. How do we get that total of 1236? It comes from the debit side, which was also 1236. Okay, we are also given the balance brought down in the work in progress of 66. So if it's brought down of 66, it must be carried down of 66. There's a missing figure. And if that's 66, how much is finished goods here? 1170, balancing figure. Happy. So there is the work in progress finished. That 1170, which I've just highlighted in green, goes to the finished goods account, which is there. 1170,000. Happy was also a missing figure. Also, from the credit side of finished goods, we know the total 1350. 
which I can put on the debit side of finished goods, 1350. Which means what? Our opening balance, balance brought down, was the only other missing figure on the debit side of finished goods must have been 180,000. The balance brought down for the start of the next year will be 165,000, which is simply the carry down. Happy. So that finished good is done as well. Okay, let's just go to the top. Let's make sure we've got everything. Raw material stock all finished. Work in progress all finished. Finished goods all finished. Direct material cost done. Direct labor cost done. And now we're here with factory overhead cost. Okay, let's look carefully here. When it said factory overheads, there's a whole bunch of missing figures. Okay, the yellows. We do know, however, that this is going to be work in progress. Okay, always it's sent to work in progress. Also, if the total of the debit side was given as 531, I can put that total there as well and that total there as well. And if I had gone back up to my work in progress, we could also have found that 531 there. Okay, so it's speaking to each other, they are contra accounts. Then, in terms of the additional information, that's going to help us find these last three yellows. Consumable stores on hand on the end of June was valued at 9,000 Rand. An amount of 36,000 was spent on consumable stores during the year. There was no opening stock of consumable stores. Okay, so for how, how much consumable stores must we have used this year in the factory? Not 36. Why not 36? Because we still had 9 left over at the end of the year. So 36 minus 9 gives you consumable stores of 27. Okay, I've noticed I don't have journals here, but obviously they'd all be general journals. But don't stress, it's not super duper important. Right, number two of the adjustment says, the floor space used by the factory is double that of the other departments combined. The total rent for the building amounted to 270,000 and rent is allocated as per floor space used. Okay, so we have to somehow pull out these last two figures. Okay, now how are we going to do that? Right, we need to think carefully. I'm also thinking on my toes here. We've got that total of 531. Rent over there is double. Were we given, or were you given the other accounts, by the way, in your answer book? Were you given the selling and distribution and admin accounts? I'm just looking in my answer book here. Um, I don't think you were. Hey, maybe this was something else. Okay, let's think. How are we going to get these last two? Right, I'm also just thinking on my toes here, guys. How are we going to get rent expense? Okay. Okay, I think we I know how to do it here. The total rent for the year was 270,000 Rand. Okay. If you're going to split it up in the ratio 2, okay, what did it say? The floor space used by the building, by the factory, is double that of the other compart departments combined. Okay. So if the other departments were 1 as to 1, then, that's not right, then it's going to be 4 as to 1 as to 1, okay? There's the ratio between the factory and the other two departments. The other two departments being selling and distribution and admin. So the ratio that you're going to split this 270 between is 4 out of 6. 1 out of 6, 1 out of 6. So 270, the total rent, times 4 out of 6, because that's the, the ratio that we've got here, is going to give us the value for the rent for the factory. Let's have a look. 270,000 times 4 over 6 is going to give you 180,000. That's how we got that one over there. Okay, so quite a tricky little one. You have to, you have to think on your feet as I did now. Okay, the last step here. Remember, if my total is 531, right, how am I going to work out the indirect labor, the very last uh, missing figure? I'm just going to take the total and minus everything else, and I'm going to be left with 90. Okay, so there it is. We've, we've filled in all the missing figures in task 9.9. .9. Um, obviously, this was the last little tricky one. The rest, 
just relied on you knowing contra accounts and where one figure might also appear. Also balancing figures, using the totals and so on. Okay, so that's 9.9. .9. That's the last task for this week. Um, enjoy your weekend and we will be in touch again next week.